We have Lodge McCammon out of North Carolina. And, and what do you do? Uh, I am a specialist in curriculum and contemporary media at the Friday Institute for Educational Innovation at North Carolina State University. Outstanding. Wolfpack. All right. Yeah, Wolfpack. All right. My question is, because we're really focusing on creativity uh, and innovation in the curriculum, and I know you're really into music, so tell me what role you think music has in, say, the science or math teacher's curriculum. What does that have to do with that? Sure. Uh, science and math, uh, music can be very helpful in science and math education, really helpful in any curriculum. Um, but as you get into the, uh, the later year, you know, 8th, ninth, 10th grade, um, music is not used as much as in the lower grades uh, as to differentiate instruction and those types of strategies. And I think it could be a really great tool to differentiate instruction, even for older kids, even for like 13, 14, 15 year olds. And uh, uh, it can go be way beyond just listening to music. Uh, listening to music is fine. Uh, if you have a song about um, something we just listened to in here about solids, liquids, and gases, which is in North Carolina, it's an eighth grade chemistry song. Uh, we can go beyond just listening. Here, here, kids, let's listen to this song and talk about the lyrics. We can go way beyond that because students are used to interacting kind of kinesthetically with music their whole life. You know, they dance, they sing, they move to beats and, and, and those types of things. Uh, we can use that in the classroom, that if the strategy is not just, hey, let's listen to this song and then move on, let's listen to this song, let's interact with it, let's create movements, let's create images that go along with this information, let's collaborate to create a really interesting product that is sort of a, a really kind of homemade music video um, to a song. It really gets a lot of different learning styles. You get the spatial intelligence, you get the kinesthetic learning, you get the group work. Um, it's, it's kind of a low barrier way of hitting a lot of different learning styles. Okay, the next question is, are there resources, particularly like online and free, you know how teachers are, that you would recommend maybe for teachers to, to look into if they want to get started trying to incorporate more music or other creativity into, what are some of your favorites into the curriculum? Well, I, all the songs that I've created, uh, I focus mostly on middle and high school content. All the songs that I've created, uh, all, all the songs that I've created have, are, are licensed through Discovery Education, so they can be found. If you have Discovery Streaming, Great. Uh, just search Lodge McCammon in the search bar, and there'll be something like 45 or so songs uh, heavily in math and science uh, and, and social studies. I'm kind of light in language arts and English. Um, so that's one resource. Uh, if you don't have Discovery Streaming, uh, my website, IamLodge.com, like I am tall, like IamLodge.com, uh, you can find all the songs there as well for free to download and, and there are materials there uh, to be to be accessed and, and it help, helps teachers figure out how to better interact with their students using music. Um, there are also a number of uh, elementary top songs, I mean probably thousands I think uh -huh. of Discovery Streaming, so you can, if you're an elementary teacher there's a lot, there are a lot of resources there. 